at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, the site of our championship boxing. Corona's World Class Championship Boxing. And we get ready for the main event, the IPF Flyweight Championship of the World. Irene Pacheco, unbeaten, takes on also unbeaten Vic Darchinian. Should be a great main event. Let's take a closer look at the fighters. Coming up, the main event, scheduled for 12 rounds, the IBF Flyweight Championship held by this man, Irene Pacheco, on the line. The Colombian, the unbeaten Colombian, 29-0, 22 of his opponents have not seen the final round. Very experienced, very confident, making his seventh title defense tonight. Here he is in his fourth title defense against Mike Trejo. You see the power, two-fisted attack of the champion, Irene Pacheco. His opponent, Armenian-born, now living in Australia, Vic Darchinian, very confident. He talks about what he needs to do to take the title tonight against Irene Pacheco. I expect it's a very aggressive fight from me. It's I can't give him any second. I go forward always. I must I must beat him. I, I know I can beat him. And look at the challenger tonight for this world championship, Vic Darchinian, who comes with very good qualifications and also with a pretty good team. He's flanked there, you see, right on the right hand side of your screen. That guy was a pretty good fighter from Australia, Jeff Bennett. Jeff Bennett was definitely a featherweight champion of the world. Strong man, throwing two and out in the two occasions. So has a lot of experience under his belt. And you know, I'm sure he can pass it on to Vic. Vic, I'm sorry, probably learning everything from the respected world champion, uh, Jeff Bennett. Those two came together after the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, where Darchinian finished in fifth place. comes the champion from Colombia. Juan Urango, the, his countryman who we saw earlier for a knockout, leading the uh, happy rhythmic champion into the ring. Well, he has his rhythmic, you know, Latin salsa, merengue, whatever you want to call it, he's definitely got a rhythm to the feet. Talk about the rhythm to the feet. This uh, young man, he turned Pro in 1993, won his IBF championship April the 10th, 1999. He's defended it successfully six times. And I say young man, he's actually really not that young for especially a lighter weight fighter. He's 33 years of age. See how these two match up. Definitely, Vic is younger than two. Height, definitely the same. Reach goes to Irene, and the weight is pretty much the same because it's a world title fight. You have to match three. He weighed in at 112 pounds and is wearing red trunks with white trim. Hailing from Barranquilla, Colombia, he is undefeated with 29 wins. No losses with 23 of those 29 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the current IBF flyweight champion of the world, Irene Mambaco Pacheco. Irene. Okay, I gave you this girl just in the dressing room. Okay, let me remind you, I'm gonna expect a clean fight from both of you. My commands to break, step back clean and protect yourself at all times. Any questions here? This belt is good here. Yo te di la instrucción en el camerino, okay? Yo quiero una pelea limpia. I want you to take a towel and wipe this pass on the We win. This is good here, okay? Está bien aquí. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Buena suerte. Touch, touch glove. Toque one piece. Let's clean that up. You clean it up. Make sure, make sure he's clean when he comes out. Okay? Let's go. So the fighters have been given their final instructions. A look at the determined Vic Darchinian. 
he was very confident that he could take the title away from the champion, Irene Pacheco. These two fighters both chiseled and ready to go for underway. The flyweight championship. See the South Paul stance of both fighters. Pacheco will switch to righty from time to time. There he goes. He was thinking about it. Very long, angular fighter. Been around 11 years, very experienced. Both of these fighters have a lot of early knockouts on their resume. And Darchinian was not thinking about winning a decision. He was thinking about taking this guy out. The one thing about Pacheco, he has a reach advantage, so he can try to box, try to keep Darchinian on the outside. Darchinian's never been 12 rounds, 10 rounds once in his career. And this is his first fight. This is very important to mention for Darchinian outside of Australia. Well, that, that, makes, that definitely matters. I mean, you know, you know, I don't see him freeze up here from early. I mean, he's very aggressive. He's coming big. He feels that he's strong than the two. You know, he feels the champion, but he can't ask to be champion. And, and I talked to Jeff Bennett in the lobby. Jeff Bennett said he hoped that it would hurt him. Hopefully it helps him. Yeah, you're, you're right. He was concerned about Darchinian being overly confident. Now, usually when, it, when a challenger goes in against an unbeaten champion and veteran, you know, you worry about trying to get his confidence up. He, this kid, he had to, to keep his confidence level. And Darchinian told us that he would not Pacheco out. Well, he feels that Pacheco's overrated champion, and uh, he feels he's a strong level two. And he feels that all he got to do is land one good shot, and he'll get Pacheco out of there. But uh, Pacheco has a different thing in my mindset. You know, he feels like a boxer on the outside, as you see right here. He lost my jab. Uh, Lefties have a habit of fighting each other and uh, it's controlled to a boxing match. This is the first fight of the year for Pacheco. His last fight was last year, September. He scored his sixth title defense, knocking out Damian Kelly in Columbia. Interesting first round. It, it, just a stance. Of Darchinian, it's it's a stance where you're you're thinking he's thinking about throwing power shots, isn't he? Very unorthodox that stance. He's, he doesn't look like he's looking to win a decision the way he's throwing punches. Well, he's nothing to tell. He's looking for the knockout. He, he punches very hard and very wide and wide. But we want to see if Pacheco can capitalize on that. But he misses, but he does miss. Ten seconds to go. Very interesting first round. Pacheco and Darchinian with Pacheco's IBF Library title on the line. That was a difficult round to score. Very difficult. I gave it to Pacheco as a champion. You know, um, I thought Pacheco did enough of uh, keeping him outside. You know, um, the Cherian started late. He put some fight together later on the fight, but... Uh, Sacale protector vocal, find, uh, por favor. Gracias. Champion. Calma. No va a poder pegarlo, oye. 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 Tiene que agarrarlo con esa mano que raste recién. ¿Cómo? Ya vea, ya vea. Claro. Y cuando entra, ¡pam! Le mete, porque el tipo está así, mira. Así está. Esa mano es la que le va a entrar. Sí, sí. ¿Ok? Dale un poquito de agua. Tómala este agua. Esta agua, tómala. Ahí te va, ahí te va, ahí te va. Atento. Round number two, scheduled for 12. The IBF flyweight championship on the line. The champion Irene Pacheco in the red and white trunks against the challenger, the blue and yellow, Victor Chinian, Armenian born. Fighting out of Australia, represented him in the 2000 Olympics where he finished in fifth place. The veteran Pacheco, 29 0, 22 KOs, six successful defenses. Both of these fighters.